Several chroniclers of the 13th century testify, however, that Gicelli, a French rabbi, to whom Saint Ludwig paid great respect due to his high degree of learning, knew the secret of a shining lamp which lit up by itself. This lamp burned without oil and without a wick, and the magician sometimes put it at his window at night, which filled his contemporaries with fear, although he enjoyed high standing with the king and was even his advisor. Eliphaz Levi wrote in his History of Magic, on page 206, everything which one can say about this lamp and its magical power of illumination provides evidence that Gizeli had discovered electricity or, at least, knew the primary possibilities for its application, because this knowledge, which is just as old as magic itself, was passed down from generation to generation as one of the keys to the higher initiations. Indisputably Gizeli was an initiate, did the secret of his lamp arise from his knowledge of electricity? According to the chroniclers, the rabbi had a very personal way of spoiling the fun of undesired guests, e. his enemies, who knocked on his door. He touched a nail which had been hammered into the wall of his room, and immediately a bluish, crackling spark sprang out of it. Woe to anyone who touched the iron door knocker at that moment. He bent over with pain, howled loudly as if the earth was going to swallow him, and took off. One day, wrote Eliphaz Levi, murmuring threateningly at the rabbi's door, pressed a crowd of people who held each other firmly by the arms in order to protect themselves from the shaking and the supposed earthquake. The boldest furiously activated the knocker. Then G. Chelly touched his nail. At the same moment the attackers rolled, one over the other, and fled and screamed as if they had been burned. They later asserted they had felt how the earth opened under them and they sank up to the knees. They did not know how they had come out of it. But there was no way in the world they would return again to knock at the wizard's door. So, by means of the terror that he spread, Jechile secured his peace. One can really only explain that this way, G. Chelly had invented the electric lamp, or reinvented it, and by pressing on the button sent electrical currents into the iron knocker. Undoubtedly the rabbi was in possession of a scientific secret, but he did not consider it opportune to betray it to the people of the 13th century. The End